want to do is I want to talk just for a second. I wrote this out, and it's very close to my heart because I was down there, and I watch our police and our firemen down on 7-Eleven, down, down on 7-Eleven, down the world. Firemen down on 7-Eleven, down. World Trade Center right after it came down. And I saw the greatest people I've ever seen in action. I saw the bravest people I've ever seen, including the construction workers, including every person down there. That's what New York Value is about. And so I wrote out a little something. And I'd like to talk about the New York values that we all know so well. The values that make us love this state, despite its problems, we love this state. We know it's going to come back. If I'm president, it's going to come back so fast you won't even believe it. You watch. I am fighting every day for the great people of this country. Therefore, in order to fulfill my solemn duty to protect America and its citizens, the United States will withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord Thank you. Thank you. But begin negotiations to re-enter either the Paris Accord or in really entirely new transaction on terms that are fair to the United States, its businesses, its workers, its people, its taxpayers. So we're getting out, but we will start to negotiate, and we will see if we can make a deal that's fair. And if we can, that's great. And if we can't, that's fine. As President, I can put no other consideration before the well-being of American citizens. The Washington Post reported minutes ago that today in the Oval Office, President Trump grew frustrated with lawmakers discussing immigration when they floated restoring protections for immigrants from Haiti, El Salvador, and African countries as part of a bipartisan immigration deal. Here's the moment you want to mute. The Post reports that according to two people briefed in the meeting, the president asked, quote, why are we having all these people from shithole countries come here, referring to African countries and Haiti? The president then went on to talk about how they needed to bring in more people from places like Norway. This is from Raj Shaw, who is the principal deputy press secretary over here. We can put this up on screen. It's a lengthy statement. Uh, it says certain Washington politicians choose to fight for foreign countries, uh, but President Trump will always fight for the American people. The president will only accept an immigration deal that adequately addresses the visa lottery program and chain migration to programs that hurt our economy and allow terrorists into our country. Like other nations that have merit-based immigration, President Trump is fighting for permanent solutions that make our country stronger by welcoming those who can contribute to our society, grow our uh, economy, and assimilate into our great nation. He will always reject temporary weak and dangerous stopgap measures that threaten the lives of hardworking Americans and undercut immigrants who seek a better life in the United States through a legal pathway. Yeah.